guys, it's Game Raymer here. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about the awesome Nintendo Virtual Boy console that you see in front of me, and three of my favorite games that I enjoy playing on the Virtual Boy system. So let's go ahead and check it out. system was created and developed by Nintendo in 1995 and it had a very short lifespan where it was actually discontinued in 1996 just a short time later and there were only 22 games released in total for this system as there are 14 North American games and 19 for the Japanese systems for the overlap of games for each region there are about 22 games for this system now, I'm trying to go for a full North American set of 14 games. I'm about halfway there. So today we're gonna look at these three games that I have in front of me. And the neat thing about this console right here is that it is a tabletop console and you actually look into this eyepiece right here that's attached to the main part. And when you look inside, you'll actually see this monochrome red color and it has this cool aspect to it where it kind of relates on depth in the video game. So this is definitely a pretty neat and oddball system. Now a lot of people have their complaints of not being able to play this console very long as that was one of the main reasons why this console was actually discontinued for health concerns as you're looking very closely into this console piece right here and you just see this red color. So it can have a little bit of an effect when you play it for long periods of time. But I really do enjoy playing these games and I think a lot of them are pretty great for the development of video games and this whole virtual reality as we know it today. So this is definitely a really neat piece of history. So we'll go ahead and get into these games here. So the first one we have this Mario Tennis game. And this was actually released alongside the Virtual Boy, as the cart was actually a pack-in with this console right here. So this is one of the ones that it's pretty difficult to find the box for when you're completing a full set of Virtual Boy games, as this one was a pack-in game. And this is actually a really fun game. So you can pick one of seven different characters in this game right here, and you just play tennis. But it actually looks really cool when you're looking in here, playing it as it definitely has a pretty cool spin on the game. So you kind of have that third person view where you see the person in front of you, whichever character that you choose, and you have to play against the person who is further away from you. So it really has this pretty neat spin on the depth perception while you're playing this game. And it's definitely a lot of fun to play this. And it's really neat because in this game you can go ahead and choose between singles or doubles matches and you can have it on easy, medium, or difficult difficulties. So this is definitely pretty sweet as it's not just one style game, you can kind of switch it up a bit. And it's definitely a lot of fun and pretty interesting when you get to pick different characters in here. choose this Mario Clash. Now this is definitely a pretty fun game and this was actually modeled after the original Mario Brothers for the arcade style games and this is a 3D spin on this game. So what you do is you run around and you actually have to destroy the enemies that you encounter and you go ahead and do that by jumping on the Koopa Troopa and you use that shell to go ahead and defeat the other enemies and there's certain enemies that you can't just run into or jump on as they do have that point on there. So you have to be very careful with what enemies you choose. And it's pretty neat because there are some different levels on there and there's even a foreground and a background. So this is definitely a pretty neat spin and this one looks really amazing 
when you're looking at it in this Virtual Boy console. So this is another fun and great challenging game. And there are 99 levels. Of course, you can pick between some of the first earlier levels in here. And it just gets even more challenging. And it's definitely a lot of fun. Next up we have this Virtual Boy Wario Land game. Now this one is definitely amazing. This one had a lot of different capabilities in the actual gameplay. And this one is just so developed compared to the other two games that it has a lot going on. So this one is just like your other Wario platforming games that you may have played on the Game Boy era. And this one is definitely so much fun as you actually play as Wario, which he takes on different hats and different abilities that he can go ahead and choose. He can go ahead and use this bull attack where he can ground pound. He has this flamethrower that he has to recharge. He can also fly and swim in these games. So this is definitely a great game and it's one that is definitely great for exploring as each time I play it I find different things in the level that I haven't actually found before so you have to go around and collect treasure and collect keys to continue moving on to different levels and unlocking the different elevators which give you access to those levels so I really enjoy this game and I definitely had a lot of fun playing it so this one is definitely pretty awesome I haven't actually beat the entire game as I usually don't sit too long playing the Virtual Boy, but this one is definitely one that I'm looking forward to completing, and hopefully I can go ahead and explore a little bit more while playing this game. But the graphics on this system, even though it's just that red color, it really makes for this system, and it definitely looks pretty neat, and it's definitely great to see this console as the development of Nintendo has enhanced over the years. And even though you have some people who don't enjoy this system, I greatly respect this system and I really enjoy a lot of these games. And I'm hoping that I can go ahead and expand my Virtual Boy collection. And that includes the Japanese and North American exclusives for this system. to go ahead and set up this system so pretty much you have this console right here the virtual boy and it actually sits on top of this stand right here now you may have seen some of these without the stand well this one actually came without the stand but I was able to buy an authentic stand to go ahead and piece this together they do make some that are repros of this stand 
so that you can go ahead and complete the console. If you find one that's missing the stand, as they have some wear and tear on them over the years. And then you'll just need one of these Super Nintendo plugs right here. It says that it'll only work with a certain style model. So this is the model number SNS-002. So this is the Nintendo AC adapter. Now instead of actually plugging this into the console itself, you actually plug it into this controller right here. So you'll notice that we have this pretty short cord, which makes sense because you have to put your arm right up to this console right here while you look into this eyepiece. So you just go ahead and hook up this controller right on the bottom here. And it just fits in nicely. And then of course we have this controller, which is actually pretty comfortable. It says Virtual Boy on it. There's an on and off switch up here. There's a B, A, D-pad, start, select, and another D-pad right here. And then it has this large pack on the back. So it says open lid to make sure plug from AC adapter is firmly plugged into AC tap. And then this is where it tells you which model to use. So you just plug that in there, make sure that it's secure in here. And this pack just snaps right back down. There's a little spot for the plug to come out. Once you plug this in, you can go ahead and adjust the volume on here as well. And you can even use headphones with this, which is pretty neat for this system. And then you just go ahead and turn it on. And then you have your gameplay that you just look straight into here. There's even a couple buttons on here to go ahead and level this out and to go ahead and focus on here. So this is definitely great for adjusting it when you actually put your head up to this. So even though this system was short-lived and discontinued shortly after its release, making it one of those failed Nintendo consoles, this is one that's very well sought after upon collectors and those who are interested in Nintendo items. So this one definitely holds its value and it's pretty expensive to find, especially complete in the box. And even though there are 22 games, which 14 of those are North American exclusives and 19 are Japanese exclusives. It's still pretty expensive and the games hold their value, especially when you try and find them complete in box. So this is definitely a great little piece of history right here, especially for the VR and 3D effects in video games. So I really enjoy playing this console and I'm definitely looking forward to expanding my game collection and going for a full set. Now I really enjoyed playing these three games growing up and I definitely enjoy Mario Tennis as it's definitely one of those fun sports games and it has a different spin on it while looking through this piece right here. And then Mario Clash was definitely a great spin making the original Mario Brothers, the arcade version, into this pretty cool 3D effect while playing. And then the Wario Land is definitely a fun platforming game and it definitely took it to its full advantage on this Virtual Boy system. So these are three of my favorites for the Nintendo Virtual Boy and I'm definitely planning on making some more videos as I do have some other favorite games in my collection and I actually have some on the way. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at those in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.